March 1st. Still have not had a drink yet this year. I also, um, actually, I haven't had a slice of pizza yet this year either. And I, I also, I haven't had sex yet this year, which that last one is unrelated to the first two. But still, it's good to just be aware of, cognizant of, for the fans, I think. You know, I feel like that, uh, that albino monk in the Da Vinci Code, remember that guy? Guy was messed up, man. That scene got, or that, that, that film got pretty, uh, pretty graphic at times. I think I saw it once. Um, last thing here before uh, we finish up, and um, it's kind of a strange one. It's kind of not a long story. It's just a quick little thing. But something I've never experienced before for something I've been doing for a long time. I go to the gym after uh, after work on Saturday. I had to work on Saturday, six-day work week. And get into the gym, go to the locker room right away to change, right? Because I'm going to go around a 5K. And I open up, excuse me, open up the door, I walk in. And lo and behold, this isn't the unusual part. There's a guy there getting changed. And now enter the unusual part. His presumably girlfriend or female friend of some sort is just sitting there. They're just talking in the men's locker room. And I'm just like, I don't say anything. I just walk past him. I go to my normal spot. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, I don't even think you need a verbal hint or cue or you do one of these, (coughs) the overdramatic throat clears. You'd think that the the female would just, I'm out kind of actions. That was not the case. I start to undress to change from my suit and tie into my, my running clothes. And she's just there, just they're just chatting. She's got her phone out, you know, probably playing Angry Birds. Young ones do that these days. And they're just chatting. And I you know, I've got places to be, I got stuff to do, so I'm not I'm not about to, you know, stop what I'm doing. So I just go I do my total change, which involves being naked. Because it's it's the locker room, right? And by the time I got out of there, she was still there. They were still there. This just seems like, here. here's what I'm getting at with this story. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. It doesn't negatively affect me in any way. But isn't it just weird? 